What are some uh, examples of music that you uh, recall from that South Carolina heritage that yeah. you've had a chance yeah. to go back and, and, and yeah. curate and uh, bring to life? Well, I certainly, uh, a couple of them uh, were so important to me as a child because they were ones that my parents sang. Hmm. Uh, traveling shoes, I always found it fascinating because my mother and father would do it in the kind of dialogue that was almost like a little scenario, a Shana, a play, because there are different characterizations there, hmm. you know. Death comes knocking at the door, talks to the sinner, are you ready to go? No, 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 because I ain't put on my traveling shoes. And it goes on around to the Christian. So I, it was as much fun mm. as it was a message in this, you mm -hmm. know, uh, until he gets to the Christian who says, you know, I'm ready to go. He, he bent down and he buckled his shoe. And so traveling shoes was one of them, but another one, that became uh, very important and remained so uh, up to this day it still is important in terms of my work was i'm building me a home ah, right yeah when uh i sang that really on a bus trip with dr whaler hmm. he said that is the most wonderful tune hmm. you need to write that down hmm. and <laughs> i wrote it down and uh you know i at that time i was just really beginning to become really facile with, with, with manuscripting and, and doing things of this sort. But I captured it enough to be able to recall it yeah. uh, and a few years later and, and built a, um, a uh, spiritual arrangement for TTBB Voices around that. Benjamin Elijah Mays heard it and he was immediately moved by it mm. and said, oh, this reminds me so much of home. Mm. Well, he was born right down the road from me in 96 South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm from Cowpens. And he wanted it everywhere he was that we were, uh, which was fantastic for me. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Whalem never knew this, but I heard him on a phone conversation. There was that piece and another piece called Sweep Clean Mary. Hmm. And he found that fascinating because it represents scripturally several different Marys that are discussed in this same uh, spiritual uh, in various sections. And he was having a conversation with Walter Gould at Lawson Gould Publishing Company, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, he had been directed to uh, speak with about my music by Robert Shaw. Okay, okay. And I stopped at the doorway because I heard him discussing mm -hmm. my pieces and he was saying, and, and his, his writing is solid and his, his voicing is good and he deserves, you really need to look at this music. And he never knew, because I just walked away, but he never knew that I heard that conversation. But that was the result of the first published pieces that I had. Mm -hmm. The first and second pieces were uh, Sweet Clean Mary, mm -hmm. and the second, I'm Building Me a Home. Mm -hmm. Some people think I did, I'm Building Me a Home for Spike Lee's movie, School Days. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that Spike was a student at Morehouse, and he heard that piece in one of the chapel services. As a matter of fact, I was the one singing it, and he said, I just have to have, I have to have this piece in the movie. So I really did it more because of uh, Dr. Whalen's indulgence and the fact that Benjamin Mays appreciated it, wow. and then ultimately Spike wanted to use it as the prologue in the movie school days. Amazing, amazing yeah. story. Wow.